All right, so let's stay with that story and speak to Yolandi Makolo, who's the spokesperson of the Rwandan government. Uh, Yolandi, thank you so much for your time. Before you respond to what you've just heard, very briefly, share with us the contents of this agreement. Thank you for having me on. Uh, Rwanda and the UK uh, have just agreed on a migration and economic development partnership, uh, whereby uh, we will be offering uh, safety, and uh, protection uh, to migrants transferred from the UK uh, to Rwanda, where we will examine their um, asylum claims if they have any. And then uh, for those who wish uh, to stay here, they will be offered a legal pathway to, to, to living here and uh, with us, with the, among Rwandans. So this is what the... Uh, the, the partnership is about. Mm. You've heard the EFF leader Julius Malema um, really strongly criticizing that move. I mean, there's been strong reaction to this particular agreement. Human rights activists and refugees, um, you know, refugee organizations have said that it is inhumane, it is unworkable and a waste of public money. The United Nations says it raises a number of human rights concerns. In the very country you are in, in Rwanda, some opposition politicians say the government should rather focus on solving its political and so social issues that make Rwandans seek refuge abroad. Abroad, rather. In light of this, I wonder what is, Paul, is the President uh, Paul Kagame saying to this? First of all, what is, in, what is uh, inhumane is letting people die, and especially Actually, Africans dying in the Mediter Mediterranean, uh, trying to, to get to Europe. And it's not just Africans, it's other people as well. And we have to be part of a solution. And this is what this partnership is, is addressing. Uh, Rwanda uh, has had long experience in receiving refugees from our region for the last 25 years. After the tragedy that happened here in 94, we have over 130,000 refugees here from our region. Uh, that, have, that, that live amongst us, um, in refugee camps, in, in our cities. Uh, Rwanda is a very safe, welcoming country. And uh, the partnership that we have now with the UK is an extension of that. You do know that in, um, in 2014, when war broke out in Libya, there were lots of African migrants uh, stuck uh, in Libya who are trying to get across to, to, to the UK, uh, to, sorry, to, to Europe, through the Mediterranean. And uh, when the president was uh, chair of the AU in 2018, he offered Rwanda as a home for these migrants who were stuck, who were enslaved, who were, who were being tortured uh, in Libya, uh, with, with no, very desperate and uh, with nowhere to go. We did offered you get, a home to them. And did, we've had that program now for, for, for three years. We still have them among us. Mm. Uh, in, in Pardon me, Yolandi, uh, did you get money from Libya? Because as you heard, the EFF leader, Julius Malema, says you shouldn't be receiving money. And other leaders as well are saying that if there's money exchanging hands here, it's a form of modern-day slavery. With the migrants from Libya, for whom we offered a home, we actually uh, donated resources. We actually, we, the government gave them a center where they live up to, to this day. This new migration partnership is... Um, is an extension of that program. There will be funds invested in ensuring that any migrant who comes to Rwanda is well taken care of, humanely, uh, and they're that they're able to live a dignified um, and safe life here. And the funds that will be invested uh, here in this partnership will also go to improving our communities. They will go towards our development program so that both Rwandans and migrants can live together and develop and thrive uh, together. This is what uh, the partnership is about. All right, Yolant, I wish we had more time, but hope to speak again soon. Thank you so much for availing yourself. Uh, that is Yolant Makolis. She's the spokesperson for the government of Rwanda.